hello everyone how are you doing welcome to petite mama youtube channel clearly i got lots of laundry to do today i'm just dragging this uh, laundry basket out of my bedroom so that i can take it to the balcony also got uh, these mats that i need to wash today so i'm just picking all the mats from all the rooms and all the surfaces and just putting them together because they need to be washed today and also guys if you're new here my name is Eunice I'm a mom and I'm also a wife and welcome on today's video guys so basically today what's happening I'm just sharing with you my laundry routine and one two three tips that people have been asking me especially about the efficiency of my LJ Fort load washing machine so welcome to the channel and please feel free or at least consider to subscribe or at least give this video a thumbs up and i'm really really gonna appreciate i already had another load of my baby clothes that was running the washing machine and this little girl over here i have to keep an eye every once and then so also these shoes here are very clean uh, i'm just gonna remove them and put them back in the house so right now i'm just getting rid of the first load of my baby's clothes uh, before i now put the next load of some few fleece blanket that i had here they were quite clean okay they're not so dirty so that's why i ended up putting for them like quick 30 quick 30 basically means it's gonna wash like for 30 minutes and you're just done so that's what i'm doing at the moment and then i'll get back to you guys after i go and make my bed and guys please watch this video up to the end we're going to be doing some awesome baking at the end of this video so definitely stay tuned So I've also done a video of how to clean your sneakers using a washing machine. This washing machine by the way I'm not gonna lie it's so efficient and the moment I actually learned how to wash my sneakers or clearly my husband's sneakers with the washing machine like I just became obsessed. Okay nowadays at least I don't do it frequency just to maintain the quality of the shoe but it has really helped my sneakers cleaning in in a very very big and major way so these shoes i'm just arranging them i have this cashew rack that is just at the entrance point in my house so one side is for hubby and i'm just organizing his shoes and then i have this other side on my left that is mine where i put my my shoes clearly he has more shoes than me but he's a sports person he's a sneaker lover so that's the reason so either way guys make sure to go and check out the link and let me know what you think it's actually so impressive that washing machines can do such a great work especially on shoes So my baby's shoes are put in a different room together with with her clothes so this is like her a little connection collection of shoes so definitely I'm just organizing uh, I just need to put them together and so for his shoes it just depends with how dirty they are like they really don't have to go to the washing machine I just sometimes we just do the normal brushing and they are good to go but some of these shoes here guys i just have to keep them out because clearly baby's feet grow so fast so kunavia to mob sana and she's just now remaining with like three or four pairs that she can wear because the rest have just become too too small so i want to take this time and give a big shout out to two ladies 
one is Magi Nyake and another one is Consolata Winnie or rather Winnie Consolata. Thank you so much girls for staying tuned. Thank you so much also to everyone. Please if you're new here consider to subscribe and if you're already a subby and you're coming back to watch this video thank you so much guys we're on the road to 2000 subscribers we're almost there we're taking baby steps but that's only gonna happen if at least you consider subscribing so let's go on with this vlog so now i'm just getting rid of my second load which was the sleeve blanket so that i can go ahead and sort now the major bulk of the clothes that we had and this one here the only thing remaining is just to hang them because the spinning is so perfect it gets rid of all the water so this is the bulk of the clothes i'm just sorting the whites and the and the wools and the sweaters blah 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 all that kind of sorting and i know so many of you guys every time i do these videos of laundry have been asking me tell us how efficient is this washing machine when it comes to electricity cons consumption when it comes to usage and maintenance so this is what i'm gonna say for sure i think either way if you have a washing machine when it comes to efficiency it is a hundred percent because you're not doing the extra labor of bending down and soaking clothes you know all that stuff when it comes to electricity i can't say it really consumes a lot me for me i feel like it's on average it's not too high and it's not too low which is fair because at the end of the day you're doing your laundry probably once twice or thrice a week you're not washing every day to the extent that you're consuming so much electricity every day like for me to say me for example i do laundry probably twice a week just twice or once if i'm doing once a week i'll clean everything so that means it's like a whole day of laundry and a whole day of laundry maybe you'll have consumed quite a number of of units of electricity units but at the end of the day you've just done the laundry once so that's where efficiency comes in because you'll not do another cleaning until the next one week compared to the fact maybe if you'll called in someone to clean for you and you need to pay them 500 or a thousand bob or if you needed to do the work by yourself you'll have spent so much time but for me here once i put the clothes in the machine i can go ahead and do something else in the stuff in the house you get so i hope that is helpful i'm gonna tag you along to the kitchen so that you can bake with you a small fruit cake uh for break for tomorrow's breakfast it's not really a fruit cake but i think because they just may put different flavors it just adds up to this unique like a fruity taste so tag along so because this is a small cake i'm first of all i'm going to measure sugar and i'm going to put 200 grams of sugar and i'm going to put it inside here and then i go ahead and take my dough and which you can get this in the local market so i'm gonna measure uh 200 grams of this also and just using this thing you can see how quick and simple that is so this is a little bit excess so i'm just gonna cut it down and get it to 200 and then i'm going to go ahead and just give this a quick mix So next step now after you have this well mixed is that I'm going to add my eggs one by one as I give them a mix. So you want to put one, you can use this or just use a normal wiggle. So I'm going to give it a mix. Then I'm going to add my third, my second egg and then give it a mix. going to put my third egg give it a mix then finally my last egg uh, you can actually go ahead and use three eggs but I just prefer to use more eggs going to have a mixture that looks like this you can see how easy that is so my next step now is that i want to add the flavor so i'm going to start with 
the vanilla essence and I'm just putting a small amount of it just a small amount because it's a small cake so for the testing I'm adding a cinnamon just a little bit of cinnamon uh, and then I'm going to add cardamom as uh, this is cardamom so I'm going to add cardamom and this basically just gives you a taste your cake uh, a variety of flavor I just call it my improvised uh, cake fruit fruit cake so you can do this or go ahead and add dried fruits but I'm just doing this because I've improvised basically I just do this and my cake is always having just an awesome taste so after I have this I'm going to give it another mix Then I'm going to measure sugar, I mean flour. Definitely I love using the self-raising uh, flour. So I'm going to measure uh, 300, but I'm going to add it in bits. So I have 150. So I'm going to give this a mix. And then I'm going to add another 150. So now the next thing is that I need to grease my container and I grease this using my blue band and you can just use a paper this is just a normal paper and you just need to pick some blue band from the container and then just smear it all around your container properly. So now the next step is that you just need to add some little flour and then go around it you see you see how it's spreading so well so this one is gonna act like a perfect foundation between the cake and the container so you just tilt this like this I'm doing this in a hurry but guys let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a video a separate video just how to bake this improvised fruitcake so now my mixture is ready I'm just going to put it in the tin and it is that easy guys so I'm just going to put this in the tin meanwhile my oven is heating up at 180 degrees Celsius I put heat from both sides of the oven and I put time it's normally put five minutes but I always do check I do check um, once a while after some time just to make sure that the cake is right well. so, this one is good to go to the oven so for my oven it's at 50 minutes I put heat uh, this is at 180 degrees and then heat is coming from both top and bottom so I'm just going to open this and put it at the middle rack and there you go so you can see how neat it has come out it's very spongy you can see so guys that's it for today my breakfast is sorted yeah uh, let me know what you think about this video and at least give it a thumbs up I know so many of you guys have learned how to bake through my channel thank you so much for the feedback I really really appreciate for me I feel like I can teach someone how to bake because for me it's out of passion that I just learned how to bake and I learned how to use my oven and that's why I just want to encourage anyone outside there if you have an oven or if you really want to know how to bake don't give up just start slowly and you're going to learn and I feel like for me I'm using very local products very easy recipes so go ahead and let me know in the comment section if you want me to do this specific recipe on a different video so that you can go through it with you step by step meanwhile I'm gonna see you in my next video please remember to subscribe or at least give this video a thumbs up goodbye